guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in for another video um today i am going to be turning this beautiful lace front wig <laughs> uh into a v part so currently i have my hair up front out and basically i've just been doing kind of like a no part flip over method which is really cute but i just feel like if i turn it into a v part um I will be able to achieve a, even a more natural look than I am now. Don't get me wrong, this is really cute and I really like it like this. As you guys know from previous videos that I've been posting, I've been getting a further away from lace front wigs and back to like, you know, your natural hair up front by doing different V parts and stuff like that. So I am gonna do that to this wig as well. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna actually take it off. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I've already done to this wig to secure it with how I'm wearing it right now. Um, and then I also will show you the process of like how I make it into a V part. And this is gonna be a side V part. And the cool thing about this is this is the first time I'm doing this on a 13 by four uh, lace wig. Usually I've done it on like a five by five lace wig where it's like, only lace in the middle and then you have the regular wig on the side which is easier because it's more secure but I will show you so I have already placed clips here here um, uh, here and these are the ones that snap and here and this is another one that snaps um, and that is because I've been wearing it not as a lace front, but further back and I need it to be able to stay secure. So I added that already and these will stay when I make them. So I will say this, when you do make a V part from a 13 by four, you probably need clips in order to secure it. Not just like where the part area is, but actually where um, the front of the wig is just to secure it more. Um, and of course, these came with the wig already, so I did nothing with these, and I actually don't even use these, so I probably can cut those off because I don't even use them. Um, I will keep the one in the back on as well. So basically, I am going to cut it where my natural part, well, not where the natural, my natural part is, but where the natural part of the wig already is, and it is going to be a side part. So usually I cut it down the middle, and I make a middle part but i have only wore this hair as a side part so i feel like there's no point in me making it in a middle part and then like shifting it so what i can do is um if i do ever want to wear a middle part we'll see what happens i don't know what will happen <laughs> but basically i am going to take it right now and i'm going to cut it right down the middle um I'll try to do this while it's on camera easier when it's on my um mannequin stand all right boom so it's cut right down the middle and the way that I'm going to sew it's gonna get some shed hair because of that the way that I'm going to sew down these type of clips that I'm gonna use is um so that I don't have to have a part in the middle so I actually did do a flat twist for the middle part that I was, I mean, for the part that I was gonna do. But I will say that this part of my hair is not heat trained, which I don't necessarily want it to be heat trained. So like twist outs, you can just see the, okay, you can see the difference between a twist out here on my hair where it is heat trained and here. It's like, I use the same products and it just looks very different even here in here like it just looks <laughs> i'm trying to like bend down sorry if you guys hear my dog barking in the background she is not barking trained um so yeah i i have that issue and so i want to be able to do this v part with like not having to actually have a leave out so i still have a leave out in the front of course that's why i'm doing a quotation leave out but where the part actually is, I do not want to have to have a leave out. But I am going to split this right now. Because what will happen is, the way that I actually install it, it will be like this. So, um, I am not going to... I'm just going to bobby pin the, the hair away. I'm not going to actually twist it or anything. And you guys will see why as the video progresses. So... 
I'm going to just play some music. Let me just body pin these out the way. And as you can see, I do have flat twist in my hair. I do have a video on how I'm not corn rolling my hair for wig installations anymore, only for sew-ins. Just because it, it uh, it's just a lot less tension on my hair. Um, I'll be back because my dog is about to go crazy. Okay, so I found these in my drawer. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where my hair products be coming from, but I'm gonna use these because I found them. Um, and, the, and the only difference is the ones that I've been using have this little um, this little base. This, these don't have a base, so I mean, I'm pretty sure they're gonna work the same, but here we are. I'm going to sew it. Ooh, I wanna tear this wig. I'm going to sew it right here. Um, and it's going to be a little bit further down so you actually won't see, you, you won't see it, um, as I, y'all know what I'm saying? Like you won't see, <laughs> you won't see it. You won't see this. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what's happening. Okay. <laughs>
show you what I end up having to do. So I end up having to, as you guys saw, cut these out and move them because they were too close. But I only needed one clip uh, on each side of the where the actual part is because this is not actually a deep part. So I'm kind of thinking this is not really a 13 by four, maybe like a 13 by two actually, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. It was still a really cute lace front. Okay, so now we're about to install this. Y'all, this is the first time I'm installing this, so bear with me. We might be doing some retakes, some redos, but you guys are gonna see it from the start to finish of like what <laughs> this process looks like. Um, and like I said before, I'm trying to do this like no part kind of thing, and we'll see if it works out like I planned. If not, um, we are gonna finesse some things, okay? Cause that's what we do, we finesse when we can't. I can already tell right now that my part is way too long, <laughs> but it's okay. We gonna finesse that as well. <laughs> All right, so first I'm just going to, of course, hook it here. Um, and this is where I always start to hook. Okay, it's hooking pretty well. Ooh. Bring that right on around. Oof. It's like some clips are getting caught. Okay, and then I'm gonna hook it here. Oh, you guys, I'm here for this so far. All right, now I'm gonna hook it in the back because I feel like I just wanna secure it back there first and then hook everything else up as well. Okay, I have, I don't have my hair. <laughs> I just have, yeah, well, that's all right. Well, I'm not gonna talk about what I got going on back there. All right, now I'm gonna hook it up front. Oh yeah, this is secure. And of course I have my little side one too that I can hook back there. And this is like the one that actually snaps. Yo, this ain't going nowhere, it's just so secure. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to hook it over here. Okay, this one goes right here. Okay, there. I don't think I need any more. I probably could use one more right there, but it's not really that necessary. All right, so this is what we got going on right now. Um, first of all, I did not dye the lace, which I would do this step. So since I did not do this step, I'm going to use some black eyeliner right now. But uh, I would encourage to dye the lace. Or did I dye it? I don't remember if I dyed this. If I, if I did, it was a while ago. So some of the um, dye could have come off. Honestly, I could stop there, but I'm not going to because I feel like we can make this look a little more natural. I'm not mad at it. I mean, comes far away, I'm not mad at it at all. And I'm so glad I did this. I'm so glad I did this. But close up, I'm like, um, ooh, I got some stuff on my nails. I can wipe this off later. Close up, I'm like, mm, we can do a little better. We can do a little better. So what I'm gonna do, you guys know I didn't, um, I did not, whatchamacallit, my hair. Um, sorry, what am I about to say? What did I not do to my hair? <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't, um, for the middle, remember I had like almost was, I was almost gonna do a leave out. That's that's what I'm trying to say y'all. Bear with me, <laughs> it's, it's morning and like, I'm tired, I didn't sleep that well last night. Okay, <laughs> I was almost going to do a leave out, but I decided not to. So as so that part of my hair is not like cornrowed or twisted down. So I am able to pull up my roots a little bit. And to me, that just changed everything. Um, it just looks, to me, it looks really good. I am comfortable about going out in person. Like I just wanna do a close up. Um, Close up, when you close up on the camera, it's like not that great. I don't know. Maybe I need to tease these a little more. But close up in person, I'm like, I can't tell. Oh yeah, that, that did it. So this is what we have. And I'm, I'm actually here for this. I love it actually a lot. I didn't think I would like it this much. <laughs> I'm just so glad to have a part back. Like I've been doing this no part thing with this thing, but this looks really, 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 
<laughs> Ask me how many reallys I'm gonna do. How many reallys am I gonna do? Okay, this looks good though. Uh, as you guys can see, dye the lace because that black eyeliner is definitely getting on it. But I'm I'm happy with this. I think this looks really really. All right, I was about to say really really really. <laughs> But I'm excited to have my part again. And it's my part. It's my part. It ain't no lace. It's my part. It ain't no leave out, but it's my part. All right. Thought I was about to do a little, little freestyle for y'all, but I'm not because that is not my ministry. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video. As y'all can see, I'm getting a little more comfortable on camera as I post more videos so my personality is about to come out in these next few videos when i get my camera like for my 30 i, I don't know if i told y'all this but for my 30th birthday i am gifting myself with well i'm investing in myself with a really nice camera and i'm so i'm doing my research right now and my 30th birthday is coming up in a few months so when i get that camera and my quality and my microphone and my quality gets you know way better Okay, we're going to pop out. 2022 pop out, okay? All right, I'm done. Thank you guys for tuning in for another video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.